And right now you're watching America's Forum here on Newsmax TV. I'm John Bachner. And I'm J.D. Hayworth. And John, a controversy is cooking up down on the bayou. The state of Louisiana suing MoveOn.org, accusing the policy group of a trademark violation for using the state's tourism logo and motto. Now, MoveOn.org put up this billboard in Louisiana using the slogan and the trademark images of the state. Louisiana Lieutenant Governor Jay Darden, who also happens to be the commissioner of the Louisiana Department of Culture, Recreation and Tourism, filing a suit against MoveOn, claiming MoveOn is infringing on Louisiana's trademarks. And speaking of Lieutenant Governor Jay Darden, he joins us now to talk about the lawsuit. Lieutenant, welcome to America's Forum. I'm nice to be with you. Thanks very much. Now, Jay, uh, let's just retrace the steps, and I'm, I'm very interested in your reasoning to go into court and to ask for an injunction to stop these actions by MoveOn.org. Well, obviously, I've got a huge amount of respect for the First Amendment and the free speech right of anybody to be critical of government. But MoveOn.org and any other organization does not have a right to use a federally registered trademark and a state registered service mark to convey its message. And, and basically, the, the image on their billboard and the words were taken right off of our website, the same typeface, the same coloring. Um, it's just too similar in our view. And, and we've spent, the people of Louisiana have spent $70 million since the oil spill to recover from our, our tourism woes after the spill. And we've done a great job. We had more people visiting our state in 2012 than ever in our history. We'll get some numbers in another month that I think will show that 13 was even better. So we're resilient and we're bouncing back. And, and as the head of tourism in Louisiana, I'm very protective of our right to use that mark. Well, Jay, tell us if you can why this is not considered parody, because under that First Amendment, uh, the, the fair use doctrine of parody uh, it, it is sometimes used here. Tell us why uh, MoveOn.org does not have the, uh, the, the parody uh, factor on their side here. This will this will be one of the primary issues that will be determined by the court. The Office of Tourism is entirely under the purview of my office as lieutenant governor. I, I run the department. I'm completely separate from the governor. We're elected separately. We don't run as a ticket. I have control of what goes on in tourism. And so the parody defense would be applicable, I think, to the governor. We don't think it's applicable to the, the brand that has been used to identify Louisiana's tourism efforts. And, and that's precisely, you've hit precisely on what the point in the lawsuit will be. Now, Jay, does your suit block the use of the slogans graphic and the style of text you use in those ads? It, it objects to the fact that they've used the brand that we have registered, which is all of the words. It is, it is my view that the words could be used. I think that's an, an argument that could be made. I think the words could be used, but what I object to most is the, the graphic description of Louisiana Pick Your Passion on a billboard, which is visible for about six seconds as people are driving by. And anyone who drives by there quickly is going to see the big headline, Louisiana, and much smaller text beyond that. And we just, we have to protect our registered mark and would do this in the case of anyone attempting to infringe on it. Well, Lieutenant, I want to ask you a question and give you a chance to respond to what Anna Gallen, the executive director of MoveOn.org Civic Action, said. And I'm quoting her here now. It is very sad to see the state spend taxpayer money on a frivolous lawsuit instead of providing health care to the people of Louisiana. How would you like to respond to that? We have a lawyer working for free, and we certainly figured that's what MoveOn would, would say, something to that effect. We have a very experienced, able attorney who has stepped up and volunteered to handle this case at no charge to our office. So. Uh, we're not spending resources for an attorney to litigate this matter. All right, so a cheap shot, and she clearly doesn't know the facts uh, of the case, at least coming from your side. Uh, Jay, I yeah. don't want to create a, a situation where, uh, where MoveOn.org uh, might take my suggestion, but in the realm of parody, when, when you folks decided pick your passion, it almost begs the response, at least as a satirist, pick your poison. I mean, if they had used that kind of wording and that kind of parody, would you be bringing this suit? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. In fact, it is a clever way that they could have used. You may have, you may have given them a, an idea. But Didn't no, mean to, not. Jay. It so, just so, kind of struck me all at once. And besides, well, you know, I that, in, creative in, feed. In our, in our discussions about that, and, really, and you know, I, I came up with this brand, Pick Your Passion. We didn't pay an advertising firm or anybody to do it. I, 
I came in the office and said, this is what I want our messaging to be, and, and told our, our agency that handles all this, this is it, work a campaign around it. But uh, clearly, pick your poison would be, of, of course, usable. Our, our objection is the word Louisiana, the typeface, the coloring. We have exclamation points in lieu of the eyes in Louisiana. In, in our brand, they have one exclamation point on in lieu of an I, and then they have an I without an exclamation point, which is a difference, and I'm sure it's a difference they'll try to say is uh, is significant. We don't think it is. We think it was a, a way to perhaps try and get around uh, just an absolute direct copy. Well, let's see what the courts say on that one, but uh, Lieutenant, tell us what's next for this lawsuit and what do you expect uh, down the road here? We have a, a hearing on April 2nd uh, in, in federal court, and, and that'll be the hearing on the preliminary injunction, at which time I think we'll get a, a decision. We may not get it that day, but that'll be the determining hearing, uh, the determinative hearing for what will happen in the case. All right. Well, we'll stay tuned and see what happens down there in Louisiana on April 2nd. That's, that, that's where the court uh, case is taking place? Yes, it'll be in Baton Rouge, in middle district of uh, Louisiana. Well, all right, a lot of folks paying attention, and you know there'll be a, uh, a lesson learned here, JD. If your slogan pans out, you could be I, the future spokesman. Jay, for again, Dotto. forgive me, I wasn't here trying to give them ideas, but it just sprung to mind. But you made the compelling case, Jay, as to why the copyrighted regular format should not be used. It'll be interesting to see what the courts say, and we thank Lieutenant Governor Darden for his time and his insights. And we certainly do. Still, thank much that. more ahead here on America's Forum on Newsmax TV. We want to hear from you. What do you think about this lawsuit? Is it frivolous or is it important that the state maintains uh, the rights for this special slogan here. We'll get to those comments coming up later in the show. Plus, we'll have more on the top stories of the day right here in America's Forum. You can always reach out to us on social, new, uh, social media at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum. You can find us on email, connect at NewsmaxTV.com, and also on Facebook, of course, Facebook.com backslash NewsmaxTV. Back with more here on the show right after this.